tutorial, I'll explain how to calculate trigonometrical functions in Excel. In this example, I have the angle listed in degrees from 0 to 360 degree with an interval of 30 degree. When you use trigonometrical functions in Excel, we need to convert angle in degrees to radians. So to convert degree into radian, you can multiply this angle in degrees with uh, pi by 180. But you have a radian function in Excel, you can directly convert using the radian function. So to convert this degrees into radians, you can type equal to uh, radian, radian, then select the angle. The angle is in this uh, field, so you can select that and close the bracket, enter. So zero degree is zero radian. Now to get the rest of the values, you can double click on the fill handle, then you get all the corresponding values in radian. And now the angle is converted into radians. Now I need to find out the sine of these values, sine theta. So theta should be in radian. So we already converted into radians. Now you can find out sine theta. So for that, you can double click here, type equal to, you can use the sine function, sine, select this value, which is the angle in radians, then close the bracket, enter. So that will give the sine of zero. So now double click on this fill handle, you get all the values. Similarly, you can find out the cosine of the angle. So you have to double click and uh, type equal to cos. So you select this from the pull down menu, then select the angle in radians, uh, close the bracket, press enter. So you got cos 0 as 1. Now you got the value of cos theta in the first uh, row. Now you, remaining rows you can uh, fill using the fill handle. Double click on the fill handle, you will get the remaining values. In the same way, you can find out the tan of theta. So you have to type equal to tan, select the tan function, and then uh, get the angle in radians, then close the bracket, enter. So you got the tan of zero. Now double click on the fill handle, you get the rest of the values. Suppose you have to find out cos square theta. We have uh, already have cos theta listed here. Cos theta we have calculated. So we already calculated cos theta. You can square this value or you can directly go from here. I'll calculate from theta, theta in radians. So first I'll calculate cos, cos, this angle. So that will give cos theta. Now I'll square this. Square, I can use uh, exponential, that is caret function and square. So that will give cos square theta. Now rest of the values, you can fill it by using the fill handle. Similarly, you can find out sine square theta equal to sine, sine function, angle you select in radians, close this and square it, square. So that is sine square theta is zero. Double click and fill it. Now, suppose you need to find out cos square theta minus sine square theta. You can write equal to cos cos theta. Now square it minus sine. Select sine theta. You once again select theta and uh, again square it. So that is cos square theta minus sine square theta. Now you can find out the remaining values. Now if you have to find out cos 2 theta equal to cos now 2 into the value is theta. The value of theta is here in, in the cell C3. Close this. No. We know that cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sine square theta. So these values should match. Now I'll fill this using the fill handle. Double click on the fill handle. Now you can see that values are exactly same. So I have calculated cos square theta minus sine square theta separately. 
and cos 2 theta separately. As per the formula, we know cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta. So this is how you find out the trigonometrical functions. Similarly, if you can also find out the sine inverse, cos inverse, etc., you can use the functions a sine, a cos, a tan to find out the inverse of sine, cos, and tan. Now I'll plot the sine theta value here to show how that sine theta varies with the angle. Okay, so I'll select the angle and the value of sine theta. So two values. So holding the control key, I'll select this first column and then sine theta values. So I am plotting the angle in degree versus sine value. So after selecting that, you can go to insert, select the line graph. So this will give the how that uh, sine function varies. So this is to show how that sine theta varies for 2 pi and the value of sine theta varies like this. So this is a sine wave. So similarly, you can plot cos theta graph and other functions also you can plot. So that's how you find out the trigonometrical functions. Thank you for watching.